We're off into a minute with Alan. This is about Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. It will take longer than a minute. My wife and I went to see Jersey Boys, the international crazy hit, when it was in previews on Broadway, before it was officially opened, when they could still work out the kinks. And my wife and I, of course, having grown up in New Jersey, grew up with Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. And we'd see them in Atlantic City, and we'd see them in West Orange. Wherever we could catch them, we'd buy a cheap ticket and go. In fact, at one point, when I was responsible for entertainment at Rutgers, we hired the Four Seasons with Frankie Valley for 2500 bucks on a Saturday night. And so we walk into the lobby of the theater, and there's Frankie Valley leaning against the wall. My Maria says, that's Frankie. I walked over. I said, Frankie, good to see you. We used to see you in New Jersey all the time. He said, oh, God, yeah, West Orange, Atlantic City, the conventions, the Coliseum. I said, would you sign my West program? He said, I don't do this, but I'll do it for you. He said, uh, you know, enjoy the show. So we go inside. Now, I had such good house seats, such good seats, that we wound up sitting directly in front of Frankie Valley. We were in the fifth row center. He was in the sixth. Next to him is an empty seat for Bob Gordio, longtime Four Seasons member and writer of most of their songs. But Gordio was sick that night. He couldn't make it. So there was the road manager and this person and that person. And in the previews before the show started, the director walked up on the stage. He greeted people, told them what they were about to see. And he said, here we have in the audience Frankie Valley, And down comes the follow spot. And of course, it encompassed me and the people around him. Uh, and his, his crew waved. And so I waved. And Maria says, stop that. And I said, okay, I'm with the, I'm with the guys. And as we approach into mission, Frankie Valley leans over to me and he says, hey, look, you got to help me. Everybody's going to come and ask my autograph. I can't do that. It's, I, I really don't like it. It's uncomfortable. He said, so my, my people form a little circle around me. I said, Frankie, I got you back. And so as people came over, I said, Mr. Valley is not signing autographs. I'm sorry. Please step back. Finally, somebody said, my God, who are you? I said, I'm his voice coach. So Maria, of course, is going like this, but I want to tell you something. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, one of the greatest groups of all time, anywhere, ever place, and I have a connection. If you hang on, I'll do my falsetto.